Um, I'm not sure if my mic's on. <laughs> I think it is. Um, hold on. Two technical issues here. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm uh, working on them. Uh, do excuse me. Why has my picture not come through? I finished mine ages. Oh, <laughs> I hadn't submitted it. <laughs> anyway, slightly embarrassing. <clears throat> anyway, greetings, one and all. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. As you know, we are here live on Twitch with you right now. Um, I've decided that to try and even things out a bit. Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to be Twitch nights. So we're going to have Twitch Tuesday and Twitch Thursday. The rest of the nights will be over on the YouTube channel, CKGC Vlogs. But tonight we're on Twitch. We haven't used Twitch in a while, so I might be a bit rusty with this. So please bear with me. <laughs> Could you not spit on the floor, please, Owl? It's a bit gross. Anyway, um, yeah. But welcome along, everyone. We are live. Uh, the room code is EKPE. <sighs> and I think the room code game should be A. Even Kenneth poops every day. Yes, we'll have that as a room code. Every day is all one word, isn't it? Yeah. I think. No? Is it two words? Okay, well I've even Kenneth poops eventually. He's got he's got constipation at the moment, so we'll just Yeah. Anyway. Welcome along guys. I'll be here every Tuesday and Thursday. And probably other days with different games. But welcome to the stream. Is it my imagination or did he just raise his chair? I don't know. <sighs> anyway. <clears throat> Oh, this doesn't look good for me. When a drawing like that comes up, you realise you're uh, you're very out of your depth here. And as you know from my drawings, I'm heavily out of my depth here. Jackbox.tv room code is EKPE. Give it a few more minutes and we'll have a warm up game to start, see if we can't. Mine's just text. There was no way I was going to work that. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Jackbox TV room code is EKPE. Uh, 
はーい。はじてた。はじてた、チャーリー。うん、なやぶん、ごあ、スクービー。Find it. Oh, God, help me. In. I shall try and work this out. Don't worry, people. Slight technical hitch here. Minor hitch here, folks. <laughs> together now.
found it <laughs> eventually. I just need to work out how to stop it. Just checking to see if it's worked. Jackbox.tv, room code EKP, if you want to come and join us. Hello, Discord Jackson. It's not saving it. What the heck? There we go, I've changed it. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> Eventually work it out. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for that, Charlie. It's helped out a lot. Thanks. <laughs> Whew. It's a bit nerve wracking, though, I'm not going to lie. Box.tv room code it is EKPE. I'm going to start very soon. We'll have a warm up game. Just three of us. Okay, well, let's go. Let's not hang around. Give it 30 seconds more. players we have time for two rounds come on let's play by now you should have a prompt on your device it might be simple like dog beach or weirder like dinosaur dmv or a soft seltzer are you serious your device that fits the title when you find it the more correct title oh, the more points you'll get good luck to join the audience, go to jackbox.tv and enter the room code.
I gently suggest that you move on to the second frame? Mine is an absolute nightmare. It should be obvious. Okay. Last ten seconds to draw. Oh, please. One of you didn't hit submit in time, but don't worry, we got you. We never throw anything away. What's a title that you could trick your friends into thinking it's correct? Write it on your device. Okay. Looks like Kenneth's medical examination, if you ask me. You don't have time to be perfect. Just do your best. Or your worst. I, I, I really don't care. Kenneth, hurry up and submit something. Oh, God, this isn't me. Doctors are obsessed with Dennis cataracts. Doctors for the elderly or thugs examining or lady of political pundits. Behold the results. Both of us guessed the correct answer, which was doctors are obsessed with Nana's cataracts. Write a potential title oh my animation. god, that looks awful. Say anything. Yeah. 
Beast mode, the caveman, roll a rink, shoelaces that are also lasers, stomach on a roll. <laughs> shoelaces that are also lasers. That is such a cheeky answer. Who voted for what? Let's find out. Stop, I got a roll. No. That was kind of slight. The caveman roller rink. Is the title. Shoelaces that are also lasers. I love it! That is brilliant! That's tickled me, oh my! Wow! And then I thought mine was bad! <laughs> what the heck is that? It looks like a coffee table's full in love with a lamp! <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> 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 oh god <sighs> It looks like a giant coffee table <laughs> Oh really I'm gonna have to stop giggling at this the smallest couch loves the biggest lamp, bug and arrow, an unlikely love story. Come on, let's be serious. Dog loves the light. I don't have to go for that. I don't know what to go for here. I'm just guessing here. Okay, who voted for what? The smallest couch loves the biggest lamp. It's the title. That is one dodgy couch, I would not sit on that. <laughs> round two is like round one, but the stakes are higher and we're all living in hunger. Oh, uh, eh? I've even got a clue how I'm gonna start drawing this.
30 seconds. Your great grandparents would have killed to spend 30 seconds animating custom GIFs. Last few seconds, people. Looks like not all of you hit submit in time. Don't worry, Slowpoke. We took what you had. Ooh, look at this one. The drama. The intro. I'll see if I can extend the timer. Um. Timers are only extended, I'm not sure. I'll have a look at the end of the game. Wow, you don't get punk at all. I know who drew this. Punk rocker tried to be a doctor or punk like cosplay. Ooh. See how this all shook out. Punk like cosplay. Kind of fell for my light. Wow, you don't get punk at all. It's the actual title. Ooh. Some title. Earth Tiger, a woman with elk head gets revenge, a hobby of mine, or Believe baby Yoda outgrows the Death Star. So is it Earth Tiger, woman with elk head gets revenge, a hobby of mine, or baby Yoda outgrows the Death Star. Alrighty, let's see what you did. Woman with elk head gets revenge. It's the title. Final drawing. Uh -huh. <coughs> um. 
Okay. What the? Uh, yeah, if I could understand the word, I'd, I've tried. Man paints his TV, never trust a plumber. The firefighters did well, their best, the or man, I don't know. I tried, I think that is. That, that R looks like a V. got to get the R right. Here's what happened. <laughs> the firefighters did their best. It's the title, we both got it right. Who got the most likes? Always oh, high. <laughs> it's a tie. <laughs> Okay. Let's head back to the game menu here. Let's try the other version. We're always up for something good. TLQQ. And I'm not even going to attempt the room code game on that one because two cues together just would be a nightmare. Too long, quickly, quick. Too long what? What's too long? Oh, I get it, it's the room code game. Too long, quickly, quick. Oh, that is good. I like that, well done. I could go for a slightly changed one of that. It's too late, quickly quarantine. I get it now. I thought there was a problem with the stream or something. You know what I'm like, I panic over the slightest thing. <coughs> Jackbox.tv, room code TLQQ. I should have a look to see if the time was all right. Yeah. 
Yeah, trivia timers are on. What the heck? I don't get it. Makes absolutely no sense. I've got extended timers on, so it should give us more time. Go ahead, just see what non extended timers would be like. Jackbox.tv, room code is TLQQ if you want to come and join us. Box of TV room code TLQQ. Okay, we're going to move on in a second. Okay, gonna start again. Welcome to Friend Mode, the game for buddies, colleagues, chums, best friends who are secretly in love with each other. And, oh, did I make it awkward? Buckle up, it's time for two rounds of animated fun. Time to play. Not awkward at all. There's a drawing prompt on your device now. It involves one of your fellow players. For example, a prompt could be Christopher <laughs> Alter Ego, and then oh no, how am I gonna draw this? Spend the rest of his life wondering. What <sighs> your job is to animate the title. For every player that correctly guesses what you drew, you get points. Let's go.
halfway through, a perfect time to migrate to the second frame. Oh. I've made a mistake already. I hope mine makes sense. <laughs> First animation. For your convenience, the subject of the title is already baked in. All you gotta do is fill out the rest. I don't want to say what that looks like. <laughs> There's something really dodgy in that picture that I'm not sure about. <laughs> Poorly made clone, golden wings, climate change unfortunately. Oh, fairy godmother. Originally inspired the animation. See what happened. <laughs> it's gonna be poorly made clone. Yep, it is. I don't believe that. Write your decoy. Even if he had a blimp, even if they were a parade floaty, even if they go hot air ballooning or even if gooseness gracious. Go for that one. Okay, who got tricked? Probably me. Nope. <laughs> we both got the exact title. Yeah, but that's a good drawing, I'm gonna get that. This one is hilarious, I love this.
something. Generate content. Stoke the flames of capitalism's inferno. Singing to, singing to raise an army of birds, or you should know for singing Weeple. with the chickens. Is it singing to, singing to raise an army of birds, singing with the chickens, or, or you should know? That looks like you both got it right. It's singing with the chickens. Redemption. Your new title is on your device. Oh no. I don't want another one. Oh jeez. Oh I know. Sake. That line has just ruined everything. Halfway through, I cordially invite you to begin work on the second frame. Start thinking of excuses. are in. Let's check them out. Love the first frame. Not crazy about the second. Try and to give you a clue, look what's in his hand. I would have had more time. I would have drawn more detail on it, but unfortunately... <coughs> Time has started to run out. I 
I managed to get a couple of wrinkles in as well. Okay, Kenneth's favourite activity, Kenneth's favourite show, Kenneth, Kenneth's You're one of the Ten Commandments, or Kenneth paying for something using coins. Remember what I said about what's in his hand? It's not the TV remote, but it's something else. And it's something that Kenneth likes to do. Nobody. It is Kenneth's favourite activity. I have my name written all over my face. See, that's much better drawing than mine. <laughs> But two in a happy moment, leveling up in a game, or would be athletic well, if this was a sport. What the heck? How am I supposed to catch up if we all keep getting the right answer? Alright, last drawing of the game. <laughs> what the heck? I don't even know where to go here. Okay, is it Charlie's our paints like Bob Ross? Painting a picture with a carrot, I'm the right answer, or in their element? the actual title. It did look like he was painting the picture with a carrot though. And Charlie is the winner with 11,000 huge points. 
Okay, Charlie, you get the privilege of picking the next game. So you can pick which game we play next. There's your choices. It's Drawful Animate, The Wheel of Enormous Proportions, Job Job, The Pole Mine, or Weapons Drawn. Job job it is. We're heading over to job job. <sighs> this is always a fun one. Right, let's get a room code. FFCV. Even know you'd started it. Jackbox TV room code is FFCV. Um, yep. Just loiter around for a few moments to see if we can get anyone involved. on TV room code FFCV Box the TV room code is FFCV. Well, we're hanging around. Take a brief commercial break. Really looking forward to cardigan weather. Please don't steal 
Okay, we are back. Jackbox.tv room code is FFCV. TV room code is FFCV. We're going to start in the next 10 seconds. Finished. That was easy. Don't forget, if you've missed out on joining us for this game, you can join the audience by going to jackbox.tv and putting in the room code FFCV. Please feel free to join the audience. And then we'll be playing again after this. You can join the game then. It's fun. Don't get also you can say hi in the comments. The live chat is available and it's open to everyone.
right now we'll just file your answers. What in the shredder mapping? It's a nice place to file our answers. I'm sending my first incisive interview questions to your device. Okay, oh god. Oh, that was hard work. Don't let me down. What makes you want to work here? What makes you want to work here? You find the alien in there looking like great art, or I like cool dude like David. How would you describe your work ethic? It's dying, I just play video games or like Ian at the nail salon. Ecstatic. <coughs> How much can you lift? How much can you lift? A jellycopter and a British tenant George Washington. I can lift a kid if I go exercising.
time runs out. This counts as your orientation, by the way. Oh, I hope it doesn't. Round two of questioning. This time, I want to know how you would handle some tough workplace scenarios. What the heck is that? Should I want to know? Let's see what we've got here. You mistakenly <laughs> drank a soda from the office fridge labeled "Don't Touch." What do you do? You mistakenly drank a soda from That's the office okay. fridge labeled "Don't Touch." What do you do? Sugar or locked room, have an orgy involving everyone, also there's chocolate. This round I'm giving out even more points. On your daily video conferences, a dark ghostly figure stands behind the client and has been inching closer and closer. How do you respond? On your daily video conferences, a dark ghostly figure stands behind the client and has been inching closer and closer. How do you respond? I guess it like all you or I need a new house for the ghostly figure looking for clues. Your manager is letting you go and requesting that you train your replacement. How do you react? Your manager is letting you go and requesting you that you train your replacement. How do you react? Wish for manager in green shirt dying or suffocated Kenneth. <coughs> wow. Good job. It's 
Speaking of jobs, let's see who's most likely to get one. Ooh, it's getting close. I'll be sending you a short survey about this interview after we finish up. Feel free to be brutal. I don't read them. Now, how about one last icebreaker? Don't overthink it. Just put down whatever enters your mind. Unless you're thinking about polka music, the workplace is no place for polka. Exactly what I hoped each of you would say. Okay, it's the final round, and it appears we're missing something. Your resume is probably my fault. I thought they were junk mail. Okay. You are about halfway through the timer. I don't need the fish, thanks. This is the final round. Tense here. You could cut the atmosphere with a knife. If that's what you wanted to do, of course, you know. Uh, most of the games are pretty good, Charlie, I will admit. Here we go. Waiting on moderation. Here we go. Here we go. About me. I seek more video games than chocolate. I find evil exercising bird. I seek money, money, transfer money in my bank account. I find suffocate. Kenneth suffocated. I was ecstatic. I seek love and headphones. I find a jelly copter and earplugs. Proved a generous bonus to your score. Interview 
completes. You're all fine candidates. Except maybe you. Anyway, only one of you is getting hired. Who's gonna get hired? Let's see the final scores. Oh, It's me with 48,600. Job goes to... Congratulations! You're our new Vice Senior Corporate Ship Sifter. Welcome what? That's pathetic! Oh, and Grandma? There was 60,000 offered the other day. I don't, don't know whether I'm going to accept that now. Okay, let's... Let's have another round of this. Well, let's get a new room code. And it's M E I M. M E I M. Personally, I like drawful. Now there's a game. Jackbox.tv room code is M E I M. I wasn't always like this. I got cursed by a witch. My life is mostly the same. Jackbox.tv room code M E I M. Don't get if you're new to the channel, this is the first time you're hearing my voice. Please make sure to follow. And subscribe if you can. If you've got a Twitch Prime account. Gonna start the game very soon. Jackbox.tv room code M E I M. Thank you for the follow, Kentucky underscore fried underscore rum. If you're tired of all the bosses yapping, you can turn on skip tutorials in the pause menu. Just don't come crying to me when you're confused. Gonna start the game in 10 seconds. Okay, we're starting. Good luck everyone. We're thrilled you applied for this exciting employment opportunity. If you haven't guessed, I'm the boss around here, but I like to think of myself more as a buddy. A boss buddy. Water? Someone will get that. I can tell you're all great candidates. Unfortunately, there's a whole bunch of you and only one job. It's incredibly stressful for me. That's why I developed a revolutionary new hiring process. I'm going to interview you all at once and force you to judge each other. Whew, I feel more relaxed already. Deborah, clear my calendar. It's time to get to know our candidates. Okay, here we go. Rule of management, make sure employees feel prepared. So prepare yourself for some questions happening right now. Let's go.
Why is there a stapler in a jelly? Bit grim. How would you trap a stapler in a jello? Oh, oh. This game. Great! Let's put these in our filing system. The filing system is a shredder matic. Put you all at ease. I'm sending my first round of hard hitting interview questions to your device. Pretty sure that's not how you knit. Pretty sure that's not how you knit. But I guess some people think it is. Alright, business time. Aside from family or whatever, what's your greatest joy? Aside from family or whatever, watch your great show. Eat Kenneth under his monster wheelchair, so eating chocolate and playing video games. Oh dang, that is two. <laughs> Kenneth under his monster wheelchair, it is a monster wheelchair. You're right. What were you doing during the gap in your employment history? What were you doing during the gap during your employment history? Chill with the homies a whack weird al until it stopped moving? Or hanging like Kenneth ages? What are you looking for in terms of employee benefits? Needing medications, make sure that me... <laughs> What would you say is your core competency? What would you say is your core competency? Do you a vampire and have a cool vampire bro? Dreamed I don't have any friends or homies. Oh. 
see you rated the question for some extra words. You can use just about any text you see on your device. Okay, let's have a look at the scoreboard. To the scoreboard. Let's see who the front runner is. Who is the front runner right now? The biggest number is the best, if you ask me. Anyway, let's try a couple more icebreakers. Okay, yep. just like Indeed. Before, say anything you want, but be descriptive. The more you write, the less time I have to spend alone with my thoughts. Okay, it's time to get writing again, people. Hello? Yes, we're out of paper. And before you ask, no, it's not because I photocopied myself dozens of times to see what the back of my head looks like. Got about 50 seconds left. submissions. Wow. That's charming. Round two of questioning. This time, I want to know how you would handle some tough workplace scenarios. Oh.
Time is running short. Show me what you got. It's company karaoke night. Attendance and singing is mandatory. What's the name of your go-to song? It's company karaoke night. Attendance and singing is mandatory. What's the name of your go-to song? Evil, mad scientist, cowboy, nothing. Singing is boring, to be perfectly honest. Get your votes. This round, each vote's worth even more. Frank won't stop listening to super loud music while he works. How do you respond? Frank won't stop listening to super loud music while he works. How do you respond? <coughs> I need some Dragon Balls or hypnotize male and seduce female. Captain of the department. What's your first earth friendly decree? You were made eco captain of the department. What is your first earth friendly decree? Milk lion hanging from the ceiling and Ian would ride a lion or dissolve the department in acid with the heat with heat from the sun. charge of designing the uniforms for the company softball game. What's going on that jersey? You're in charge of designing the uniforms for the company softball game. What's going on that jersey? Big hairy men in rugby uniforms or old people? We definitely don't want Kenneth on it. <laughs> Oh, Charlie's taking a huge lead. Wow, that's enormous. Right now, one more icebreaker. Don't overthink it. Just put down whatever enters your mind. Unless you're thinking about a nap in a comfy hammock. I gotta stay sharp for this interview. Two done, two to go. Who's going to be next to finish? Both. <laughs> Can I be honest? I feel like I'm nailing this. <laughs> okay, it's the final round and it appears we're missing something. Your resumes. Probably my fault. I used them on my vision board.
There's about 30 seconds left. I think this is all about ripping off, to be honest, Charlie. <laughs> Last few seconds. Oh, I can't wait to see these. I can eat McDonald's and chicken. I cannot eat a monster that goes wolf. I can finally bring back wanting to kill Jack. I cannot chill with hairy men. Oh. Since it's the last round, how about an even bigger score bonus? I can entertain repeatedly while not boring your head. I cannot whack your head repeatedly breaking your bones. Or I can hypnotize Chocolate Cowboy. I cannot sue lovely video games. Let's have a look, what's the final Hello. scores? You all did great, but one of you did greater as Wow, with a huge margin. Charlie wins the game seventy six thousand seven hundred. The job goes to Congratulations, you're our new junior officer of urges and mergers. Welcome to the team. Oh, and Ryan. He gets 76,700 and I get 46,000. No fair. Right, without further ado, we're going to head to our next game, which is going to be the pole mine. Oh, yes. We're not going to waste any time here tonight. We're going to head straight to the pole mine. Oh, we're going to get a room code, which is B-H-E-L. Here we go. Box.tv room code B H E L. <laughs> Jackbox.tv room code B H E L. Come and join. While waiting for more players, we're going to take a one minute commercial timeout, so stay with us, stay tuned, we'll be right back.
Okay, and we're back. Welcome back. And we've got a few seconds left. Jackbox or TV room code BHEL, or I'm starting the game, folks. We don't want to miss out. Thank you for the subscription, JDS. Do appreciate it. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm used to YouTube. Thank you for the follow, JDS. I'm sorry. I just can't get my head around this whole thing. Thank you for the follow, though, JDS. I do appreciate it, and thank you so much. Hopefully, I'll have some fun. Last 10 seconds, jackbox.tv, room code B-H-E-L if you want to join us. But hurry. Okay, we're going to start the game. Get ready. Oh, somebody just snuck him in the last moment. Gotcha. Well, well, it seems my treasure-filled web has captured some flies. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Laverne Cavern, just a lonely cave witch who helps hapless heroes through the dark and deadly doom they've stumbled into. And do you have names, perhaps? Okay, sure. So let's start with... What would be the best part of being an outlaw in the Old West? Okay, start voting on what you think would be the best part of being an outlaw in the Old West. <laughs> you got three votes. Choose them wisely. Choose what you think would be the best part of being an outlaw in the Old West. Yeehaw! They didn't have that, saying yeehaw. Would it be good to be out in the Wild West? Old West, the Wild West, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of shootings. I don't know whether I'd fancy that. I'm not very quick on the draws, so I probably would have gone down pretty quick. You might like the idea. Time is gone. Time to make some decisions. JDS waiting on you, my friend. Just rank your top three answers. trying to find the top three answers and avoiding the rest. Okay, so now we've got to try and guess what the top three answers would be. Okay, so I'm going to go for the obvious one, which is the bar brawls. That's got to be in the top three. It's not. I give up. Mm, I thought you had that one. So did I. <laughs> Don't be concerned. Four. Running out of torches doesn't mean it's over. At least, not yet. Okay, JDS, it's your pick. Is it the gold, the freedom, the moonshine, the boots, the music, the hats, or the campouts? What would the next answer be? It's up to you, JDS, you pick. Oh, 
are the favourite features of being in the Wild West. Is there anything that you think is your a great feature of being in the Old West? Hmm. I'm not so sure. Only a few seconds left, Jade has to pick a door. Pick any door. Time's up. Okay, Yoshi, it's your turn. Pick a door. The gold, it's gotta be. I'll be number one, surely. I should have gone for that. Charlie, it's your turn, mate. What have you got? Going for the freedom. Oh, monster. It was only sixth, I'm afraid. Kenneth, it's your pick. What is Kenneth going to go for? Is he going to go for the moonshine, the boots, the music, the hats, or the camp outs? What is Kenneth going to go for? He's going for the moonshine, of course he is. Well, ah, that's an answer. It came second. Wow. <laughs> JDS, it's back to you, my friend. You got the boots, the music, the hats, all the camp outs left. It's going to be the third place answer. We know what one, two, four, and six are. One is the gold, two is the moonshine, four is the bar brawls, and six is the freedom. But what is three, five, seven, and eight? We don't know yet. I think JDS probably is AFK. Well, he needs to. He needs to answer quick. He's got thirty seconds. Do you want to restart? Yeah, we'll restart. We'll just let this just let this round finish, and then we'll restart after this round. Because I'm sure you all want to know what where number three is. Let's just have a look what number three was. I shall pick this one. Oh. It's not the hats. Okay. That was fifth. Okay, Charlie, it's over you to take the round home. The music, I was thinking that. It's not that either. That was seventh, huh? Right, boots or camp outs, Yoshi, your choice. It's boots. It was camp outs. It was eighth. Okay, so let's restart the round as we've got an inactive, so let's just restart the game. And. Get a new room code. And it's MATN. <laughs> I 
Okay, oh, we're about to start Jackbox.tv room code MATN. Give it a couple more seconds. Give it ten seconds. Okay, we're going to start. Good luck to everyone. trapped while trying to steal my treasure, eh? The ominous eye you see watching your every move belongs to me, Laverne Cavern, the only witch preventing you from being stuck permanently punished for your pilfering. And what should I call you? There you go. Maybe print that on some team t-shirts. So let's start with the wholesome childhood activity you'd like to do again as an adult. Okay, oh god. The wholesome childhood activity you'd like to do again as an adult. Poor Kenneth, can't remember his childhood, it was that long ago. The terror the cave. The first round is easy. You'll be trying to find the top three answers. No problem, right? Okay, so the options are having a tea, have a tea party, build a pillar for, run through the sprinklers. Well done. Yeah, she's got the top place answer. Charlie's next. I run through the sprinklers, paper his head, skip stones on a lake, catch fireflies, make a tin can telephone, and declare a thumb war. Charlie's gone for catch fireflies. And he's been monstered. It was fourth. It was it's just outside. Run out of torches. You can always gain more. At least for now. Okay, so Kenneth. It's up to you, you got having a tea party, run to the sprinklers, play for ten, skip stones on a lake, make a tin can, telephone, or declare a thumb war left. Oh, get away. Run through sprinklers. And he's been monstered. Wrong door. That was fifth, I'm afraid. Okay. I'm gonna go for skip stones on a lake. And it's a torch. That was third place. Okay, we're looking for the second place answer. Play pretend. That sounds an interesting one. And yes, it's a torch. Well done. Neat, sweet. Which reminds me, pick up your trash on the way out. Let's see who's currently leading in the polls. Let me magic up another survey. And let's raise the So Bernie and Day are winning 2-1 against the poll. You're late. East. There's only a few things you can do before you walk out the door. Which do you pick? You're late. There's only a few things you did before you walk out the door. Which do you pick? <sighs> Oh god, this is a toughie. <laughs> We're gonna have a few problems here, I can feel it. We're done. Time to move on. Okay. We're head where are we heading to? Spooky cavern. Oh lovely. Two, three, and four. Two, three and four are the answers we've gotta find. Oh god. So obviously try and avoid the most popular one you think it'll be. And Charlie, you get the first pick. Thank goodness it's not me. 
He's having a good think about it. What's he gonna pick? He's got comb hair, brush teeth, poo pee, wash show face, put on work clothes, have breakfast, coffee, deodorants, or... So he's going for have breakfast or coffee. Yikes! Yeah, we've been monstered. It was the top place answer. I did that yesterday. I picked the top answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kenneth, it's your choice. And there isn't put on anti wrinkle cream. Poopy. He's got a torch. It was a second place answer. Oh no, it's over to me now. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go for. Oh, I don't know what to go for. There's two good on me. I'm gonna go for comb hair. Nope. Better luck next time. Oh, <laughs> sixth. Wasn't even close. Yoshi, it's your pick. Put on work clothes, that's got to be high. Go yep, you. there's another torch. It was fourth. Charlie, it's your pick. If you can get number three, we, 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 we get at least a torch. Deodorant. Deodorizing. <laughs> We've been monstered again. It was fifth. Oh, no. This is a nightmare. Brush teeth. Rock and roll. It's third place. Impressive. You'll live to see another round. Moisturize. Let's take a peek at how we're doing. Not Looks good. Five nil to the birdie in day. So to keep the good times polling, here's a one time gift. So don't say I'm not generous. Oh, thank you. Two Five teams, one. One final round. Zero witches who are not at the edge of their seat. But this time I'm asking you to rank five choices. The Spotty Wolf, I'm going to be doing uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays on Twitch. And the rest of the week will be on YouTube. So just remember, Twitch Tuesday, Twitch Thursday, every other day will be YouTube. Ew. deadly final round. Here you'll pick the least popular answer, number eight, and work your way to the top. Awkward interaction, Wayne. Okay, Kenneth, you're first up. I will try. You need to find number eight. A ballot, which is a chicken fetus. Your monster chow. Kenneth's been monstered. over to me now. Um, I'm gonna go for that. Oh no! Monstered, Monstered again! Since neither team could find it, let me give you a hand. Aunt Larvae. Remember, the other team got it wrong, so a right answer here ends the game. 
Okay, Yoshi, it's your pick. He's going for Haggis. Sheep stomach. Gotcha. Monstered. Okay, Charlie, it's over to you now to win the game. He's going for poop coffee. Well and we've done. been monsters. Oh no! That was. We don't know, but Ballot was seventh. Kenneth, it's your pick. He's going for the poop coffee. He's got it right. Doom. <laughs> okay, Yoshi and Kenneth are your winners. Unfortunately, Charlie and I get to stay in the cave. Let's play again! Let's get a new room code. J W C H. J W C H. Box of TV room code JWCH. It's the same teams. We're having a rematch. <laughs> you got ten seconds if you want to join. Jackbox.tv room code JWCH Four, three, two, one, we're gonna start. Get ready. Oh, I haven't submitted a team name. Okay, here we go. Good luck, everyone. Some unwelcome visitors. Oh, goody. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Laverne Cavern. Just a lonely cave witch who helps hapless heroes through the dark and deadly doom they've stumbled into. And do you have names, perhaps? Wonderful. So let's start with... If you could only do one type of exercise for the rest of your life... Which one would you choose? If you're going to do one type of exercise for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? We've got the options of running, yoga, powerlifting, aerobic dancing, bicycling, martial arts, high intensity, interval training, or no exercise. Thank you. Excellent. 
excellent picks, possibly. Now We're going to the bacon crevasse. Your quest. Simply find one of the top three answers and you'll receive a nice reward. But get it wrong and you'll find a nasty surprise. That sounds interesting. Okay, so I'm picking first. I don't want to go for the... Mmm, that's between two. I'm going to go for that one. For goodness sakes! Fourth! Don't uh. When you run out of torches, you don't die. At least, for now. I don't believe I've blown that one. Fourth place! Kenneth going for martial arts. Nice. He's got a torch. Third place. How is that? Charlie's going for running. Super. There's a torch there. What's Yoshi going to go for? Yoshi's going for yoga. Oh, he's got monstered. He's got monstered. It was fifth. Chance for me to win the round here. Gonna go for bicycling. And we've got the torch. It was second. Magnificent! I'm all raves in this cave. Okay, which team is carrying the most torches for me? This next cave has even... Two one to the well-dressed guesses. And this time you'll rank four choices instead <laughs> of three. Groovy? Oh, groovy. Worst liquid to accidentally fill your humidifier with. Worst liquid to accidentally fill your humidifier with. Tomato, biscuit, coffee, the stink tea, hand sanitizer, beef sauce, goose juice, sweat, or liquid... A pre living. To lettuce ravine. This round, you'll need to find the answers ranked two, three, and four. Okay, Kenneth, you're looking for options two, three, and four. Doors with two, three, and four. Good luck. He's gone for old coffee. Tragic. And he's got monstered. It was fifth. Okay, Charlie, it's your pick. He's gone for sweat. I think that might be number one. No, oh, it's a torch. Yay, it was second. Thank you. Ooh. Okay, Yoshi, it's your choice. What was number one, then? He's gone for tomato bisque. And he's got himself monstered. Seventh. Ah, uh, I'll go for the stink tea. I got monster. I bet it's number one. Yep, thought so. I've picked number one again. Kenneth, it's your pick. Hand sanitizer. And he's got himself monstered. Feeding time. It was sixth. So Charlie, it's your choice. 
He's gone for goose juice. And it's another torch. That was third. Only one answer remains. Think you've got it? Okay, yeah, she's gone for liquid the precogs live in. And got a torch. Fourth place. Found them all. Then let me find a fresh cave for you. Let's see who's rocking this cavern. All right, teams. It's 3-1 to, to the well-dressed guesses. I know, I don't want this to end either. But this time you'll rank five choices. Can you believe it? Your new partner is finally coming over. What books do you leave on the coffee table? Your new partner is finally coming over. What books do you leave on the coffee table? The little engine that curved relationships with dummies. Ready Player One, Walden, Withering Heights, In Cold Blood, Superman Comics, or Let's Go, Nebraska. To For the final round, tomato, you need to pick tomato, from to the top. cave. Pick the eighth option first, and then work your way to number one. Oh, it's me. Ugh. I'm gonna go for relationships with dummies. Oh. Nope, I got monstered. <laughs> For God's sake. Ah, Kenneth, your pick. He's picked in cold blood, and he's got hey, monster too. is eluding you. Let me help you along. It was Let's Go Nebraska. Keep in mind, the other team got it wrong, so a right answer here ends the game. Okay, Charlie, we need seven. The little engine that could has got us monstered. Aw, you caved. Good pun. Okay, Yoshi, you could win the game. He's going for Superman comics. And he's been monstered. Let me get that for you. It was relationships for dummies. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one. Walden. Well Oh no way! Your monster chow. Remember a correct answer will end the game. So Kenneth, it's all on you. He's gone for in cold blood. He's got the right answer. Kenneth and Yoshi win again. You're safe. Well done. You survived using the power of opinions. As promised, here's the way out. And if you were on the losing team, don't feel bad. Feel trapped in a cave. <laughs> okay, we are going to go to our next game, which is the Wheel of Enormous Proportions.
Oh no, an error has occurred. Hold with me.